Google's first stab at affordable phone with the Pixel Fold wasn't quite a home run, but it at least gave consumers another option beside Samsung's foldables. With the Pixel Fold successor, however, there's a lot more pressure because the new Pixel 9 Pro Fold competes against breakout devices like the OnePlus Open as well as the recently released Galaxy Z Fold 6. Using this opportunity to improve upon the shortcomings of last year's Pixel Fold, Google has given its newest notebook-style foldable phone an extreme makeover as well as a name change to better align with the other Pixel 9 phones in its lineup. You get the largest display yet in a foldable at 8 inches, a brighter screen and numerous camera upgrades. Google's also banking on new AI features to hopefully propel the Pixel 9 Pro Fold over its foldable rivals. In my Pixel 9 Pro Fold review, I'll tell you if all the new changes are enough to give this device that prestigious title of best foldable phone. Now that the novelty of foldables has dissipated, it's going to take the Pixel 9 Pro Fold a whole lot more than just flexing to convince people it's worth the money. Just when I thought we couldn't get any bigger screens in foldables, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold does exactly that by exceeding the screens found in rivals like the Z Fold 6 and OnePlus Open with the 8-inch 2076 by 2152 Super Extra Display that serves as its main panel. The OLED-based screen looks stunning, crisp, and detailed like it should for its price. I much prefer its size this time around thanks mainly to how the Pixel 9 Pro Fold's outer 6.3-inch actual display sports a 20 to 9 aspect ratio, which makes the inner screen more square when unfolded. Due to this, apps fits better when they are running side by side on the inner screen. But what's most compelling about the new display is that it's leaps and bounds brighter than its predecessor. In our benchmark testing, the 8-inch Super Actual Display hits a peak brightness of 2319 nits, more than double the Pixel Fold's brightness, which is an impressive amount. Sure, it doesn't quite reach Google's claim of 2700 nits, but it's close. As a result, I am able to see the screen much more easily on a sunny day than any other notebook-style foldable out there. Honestly, it's a visual treat to the eyes whenever I play a 4K HDR clip on YouTube because it's accompanied by rich colors and wide viewing angles. There is simply no other affordable with a brighter screen than the Pixel 9 Pro Fold and for that I need to give Google credit here because it's very rare that our testing gets close to a phone maker's rating. For a foldable phone, Google doesn't skimp out on the cameras with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. On paper, the specs seem all too familiar a 48MP main camera, 10.5MP ultrawide, 10.8MP telephoto with 5x optical zoom, and a 10MP selfie shooter. However, there are some minor differences related to their aperture and field of views that benefits the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. In addition to a robust camera system, I really enjoy the Pixel camera app because of the shooting modes it offers. New this year is the introduction of the mode you look feature which displays these animated cartoons on the cover screen to attract the attention of kids and keep them looking at the camera long enough to get a decent shot. I tried it on my young nieces and nephew with great effect. Other camera features new this year include a revamped panorama mode and the Admi feature that uses augmented reality and AI that allows the photographer taking the photo to be part of the photo later on. I have tested this as well and the guidance it tells me with the help of AR and shoots the photos framed perfectly. Here are some camera samples of Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold.
last year's Pixel 4 was in a predicament because it launched before the Pixel 8 lineup, which kept it stuck with an older Tensor G2 processor. This time though, the Pixel 9 Pro 4 is powered by the new Tensor G4 chip and paired with 16GB of RAM. Not surprisingly, these two upgrades give a marked improvement in just about every synthetic benchmark test with 3 added. Both its single and multi-core scores in Geekbench 6 are substantially better at 1956 and 4813 respectively. It finished way ahead against the Pixel Fold, but the Tensor G Force is still way behind the scores put up by the Z Fold 6's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. But I think most people wouldn't realize that with all the superficial stuff, like navigating around the interface and juggling a few apps at once since it still delivers the same instant responses and fluid actions that I love seeing in high-end phones. When it comes to graphics processing, the Pixel 9 Pro 4 is still nowhere as smooth as the Galaxy Z Fold 6 with 3D Mark's Wildlife Unlimited Taste. The 55.72 FPS rate it averages in the test pales in comparison to the smoother 112 FPS rate of the Z Fold 6 while also coming up short to the OnePlus Open's average of 84.8 FPS. Luckily for me, the games I play religiously, I don't see any major hitches on the gameplay in Age of Origins even when there is an intense action happening on screen. Google's silicon has yet to eclipse what Qualcomm and Apple has shown us, but I am not bummed by this because quite frankly the Pixel 9 Pro Fold feels and performs like a champ with the things I do on the daily. Side by side, app smart tasking is no problem here as I am able to effortlessly watch a YouTube clip while scrolling through Instagram or jotting down an email reply in Gmail while playing Age of Origins on the other. Usually, whenever a phone ends up getting a smaller battery than its predecessor, it's because of it trying to be thinner and lighter. Of course, that's the case here with the Pixel 9 Pro 4's 4650 mAh battery, which is smaller than the 4822 mAh battery on the Pixel Fold. Lucky for the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, the Tensor G4 appears to be much more power efficient. In our battery benchmark tests, the Pixel 9 Pro 4 manages to last 11 hours and 36 minutes in one pass of 4 tests, which is more than an hour longer than what the Pixel Fold eked out. There is no denying that it's a win for Google here, but I was hoping for a longer lasting battery because of the Pixel 9 and Pixel 9 Pro XL both achieved significantly longer times than their predecessors. But to be fair, it actually lasts longer than the time posted by the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and just a smidge short of the OnePlus Open's time. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold features 21W wire charging through its USB-C port and in our testing yields 18% of battery with 15 minutes of charging, which then reaches 38% in 30 minutes. That's actually short of Pixel 4's reach of 23% and 47% with 15 and 30 minutes of charging respectively. Seriously, this is exactly what the original Google Fold should have been from the start because the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is much more polished in every way. Its new redesign makes it look and feel like a more modern foldable, but I was expecting so much more to justify at $1799 US dollar cost. All of the new AI features certainly elevate its worth, but it would have been much more satisfying to see it getting more exclusive features just to give it a bit of distinction over the slate Pixel 9 Pro models. I am also disappointed that the camera upgrades are minimal at best and how the overall software experience doesn't change all the much functionality. Google addresses many of the shortcomings of the original but the bar has been set higher by other foldables like the OnePlus Open and Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Needless to say, it's much better than its predecessor but it still comes up short of matching the value that its contemporaries offer.